What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, so I finally got the second box for Black Hand. Now I ordered this through Sugo Toys. They're an Australian retailer. Uh, this is the second piece I got from the first was the Loki helmet, which I sold actually already. I just didn't like how cluttered it looked. <clears throat> Even though it was a great prop, it just wasn't working for me. But this is a piece I have wanted and I regret not uh, ordering this when it was available at retail at Sideshow. So I remember thinking if I should get it or not, but I didn't have space at the time, so I passed. But it was the only other Warcraft that I truly wanted from the Orcs. Now, I do like Medivh and King Lane, and they do have Medivh that Sugo really cheap, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's very tempting. Like $700 shipped. So it's very, very tempting. But I do want to just stick to just the, the villains. Although technically he is a villain, so stick to the orcs. Alrighty. As you can see, a lot of pieces that were missing in the previous box. And I was always like, what the heck? No way everything's in that box. Thing is, Sugo didn't actually uh, email me both trackings, only sent me one. All right. Here is the base. Trying to. Lots of styrofoam. Bottom 600 or 76 of 600. So the base is about the size of Orgrim Doomhammer's base. Don't need that. And the instructions were over here actually. Because uh, it does have multiple instructions and everything on how to get this set up. Step one is putting black hand in the base. Not going in all the way. Back foot needs to go in a little bit more. All right, there, got it in. How to use some uh, force. Uh, and he has a lot of bubble wrap around several items, so I'm gonna need my scissors for that. That was not easy pecking him in, by the way. Let's see, find the tape. on him. Everything's bubble wrapped on him basically. All this different bubble wrap. Let's 
good to notate what has bubble wrap as well if you ever uh, need to sell the piece. So obviously they bubble wrap this for a reason. Now these Warcraft pieces are extremely good. They're also quite pricey. You know, ordering this through Sugo after shipping was close to $2,000. Retail, I think he was 1600 So just a little bit over retail, really just because of the shipping. has a ton I find it actually easier to use my hand to rip it than the scissors all right just gotta get this chain off my mess tape I wish they used not this clear tape because you can't even see where it's at. They should use a different colored tape. All right. He does have fabric here. As you can see, it's all smushed. So got to take that out and like that fluff a little. And they also even have this over his hair and head. Oh, does this head come off? It does. So his head does come off. So I guess it's a uh, head is very light. And one final piece. These Warcrafts do take a while to set up. I remember Golden taking me like freaking an hour. I'm actually opening up this and Aquaman because uh, I just got home from vacation. Went to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. So that's kind of why I was a little slow on the channel. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed Puerto Vallarta. It's a uh, very, I like it more than Kent Coon, I'll say that. Alrighty. So, he is finally in. There we go. All right. Hang Beast Skull behind Black Hand. Oh. And that is this. Now it just pegs into the back. I really love these skulls they do on these. They're so well done. Next, place Dragon Skeletons behind. So it shows you actually remove the head for this one. Now these dragon skeletons are in this box real good. So I'm just going to pause the video because this might take a while. Alrighty folks, so I finally got this freaking thing on. Now it had a million things, these 
bows tied to it, tons of styrofoam. It was absolutely one of the most difficult things to unravel. And it just goes on via one peg uh, and rests obviously over the shoulders. But man alive, look at how freaking epic this is. It's also kind of sticky, uh, which makes it extra difficult and styrofoam sticks to it easier. There's like, even it blowing at styrofoam, it's not coming off. You have to freaking use your fingers. Yeah, there's one right there that just won't come off. I'll do some close-ups and everything, but just look at that. Man, <clears throat> that's insane. That's one of the reasons this is so freaking awesome is because of this. Uh, now we can go ahead and put the head back on. <clears throat> His head like that. Next is the hand, and then there's some base components and some, a few additional things. This is quite crazy. So check out his giant hammer thing. This thing's awesome looking with that skull. I mean, just check that out. So, his thumb actually is magnetized. Very strong magnet. And then, there's even like a, a felt pad in here. Those too deep though. This isn't super easy to put in, by the way. This is taking too long. I am going to pause the video again until I get this. Apologies, folks. Alrighty. Got it in. Was quite difficult, but we got it in. Next is just a few pieces on the base, and I believe one additional thing on him. Uh, so, yeah, after the hand, you're on the second page. It wants you to do the flag and these two skulls that go in the base. Now, these things are freaking awesome. Goodness. So cool. Uh, and looks like this one, I believe. No, no, no. And I think this one goes right here. even 
right. They're both back here. But there's another skull as well. And this one goes in the front. You got the flag, which I already assembled this. And then put nose ring on left and right, dragon nostril. So that's it. Uh, just these nose rings on the, the dragons. The dragons have nose rings. I'll, I'll do this after, but check out that freaking beast of a piece. Holy crap. That is a monster. Wow. All right. Uh, let's uh, finish the nose rings and do some close-ups. Alrighty, folks. So Black Hen is all set up. Boxes are cleared. Finally, I hated having that box there in my freaking room. But man, check this out. This thing's beast. It's a big presence. Uh, so as always with damn toys, they do tons of mixed media. So real uh, like hand pointed hair. You can see it's hand punched right there. And then they use lots of like real leather. Like this is real leather, not sculpted. This is real leather. Uh, the This thing. Check that out. That's absolutely insane. Uh, then you have this like war pole here with the flag. And that's really cool. I remember my first Duratan had a giant flagpole, and I liked it as well, and I hated giving it up when I had to return it, because the second version doesn't have it. But I do like how he has it. He's marching into battle. He has his war banner out. There's tons of skulls. It's in uh, some sort of, like, desert. Matches all the other bases within the line. But, man, this thing is insane. <sighs> Definitely need to take a duster to this thing. So check out his hand. This one right here has tons of like tattoos and markings. That is where it's pegged in. You can definitely see the peg. It doesn't even go in all the freaking way. Uh, it was very difficult to get that in. But that weapon is awesome looking. Luckily, with the way it's angled, it's not too bad of a seam line. It's definitely there but it's not horrible, horrible. I would say that's probably the biggest negative is that seam line. I understand why they did it. It's to secure that in, uh, but it does suck having a seam line for sure. So let's check out this base. Extremely nice. It reminds me of <laughs> uh, like a national park where they have uh, red rocks, you know, like Zion's National Park. Uh, you got the red rocks, very, very nicely sculpted. Great paint job, looks fantastic. Got some like tree right there. And then you have these skulls, check that out. Very cool. This one right here. So two skulls in the back and then also one right here, like uh, some sort of animal. Uh, but overall the base does look great. This is where this pegs in. Mine did have a little paint chip right there. Uh, luckily, it's in the back. But, yeah, there is still styrofoam just sticking to this thing. The base is pretty cool. I do like it. It's not bad. I would say it's uh, better than Orgrim's base. Uh, it's easier to display than Duratan's. It's actually probably the best base of them all, to be honest. Because it has the three skulls. The other ones only have, like, one or two. And I like the rocks on this better. So I'll say this one probably has the best base, to be honest. Duratan's is way big. His is like 24 inches deep, so it's quite difficult to display. Where this one is definitely manageable. This is a 15-inch Lazy Susan. It's only going off by a half an inch. So this is about 16 inches deep and about uh, maybe, I mean, if you wanted to include that width, you're probably looking at 20 inches. So that sticks out quite a bit for uh, space reasons, obviously. This does look like a piece that'll need to be displayed up high, so I'll probably have to display them next to 
Goldan and lower Dur Tan and just remove his axe hand and do the fist hand. Because uh, looking at the piece right now, I can't see his face. And where I was going to display him is even lower than this. So I'm thinking best display him up high because Duratan could be displayed down low and still see his eyes because of his pose. And this just has crazy detail. I am just loving it. So the boots look fantastic. Got like, I don't know if that's blood. It looks like war paint and then really good weathering. Got like this orange effect on what would be like straps. It's very similar to like Orgrim uh, in terms of just detail. This is fully sculpted, not straps. And then you have all these different like bone accessories. And these bone accessories are just awesome. I love them. That's one reason I love these orcs. This is obviously blocking some things that you would normally see back here, but this is one of the best things about this entire statue. I mean, just look how big that is. It's like a, it's I believe a dragon, uh, bones is what it is it's an actual dragon and this is where you inputted this uh like necklace into his nose obviously that's optional as well you can't even see the pegs inside too good uh and it is tied and you got parts of his armor right here going through it the paint job on this is absolutely insanely good you just have tons of different like teeth and skulls Wow, this is awesome. Really, really cool. His hair's done fantastic. Uh, it's better than uh, initial pictures. I thought it would look as good. I really love these dragons, though, on each of his shoulders. They really uh, add a lot to the piece and really help with the presence. So that is something I'm definitely digging. Uh, let's check out his portrait. So mouth looks fantastic. Those teeth look like, I don't know, they look really good, almost like acrylic teeth. He even has two tiny little lip rings. Eyes are fantastically painted. And then of course the real hair, and this one has like some braiding done, a little, that's real metal right there. And this one also has some braiding done. So it just dangles like that. So that's really all there is to it. In the promo pics, they have his hair going quite wild. And I suppose you could do that if you wanted to. You know, you'd spread this out more. I'm going to watch the movie tomorrow. because It's actually really late right now. And I'll see how it looks in the movie and display it like the movie. The detail in this is just fantastic. The scarring. I believe these heads are PVC. Uh, so it's very light and it looked like PVC on the bottom. And that's probably why they're just so detailed. But like PVC heads are the way to go really for statues. Uh, for like smaller scale, not large. And this is real metal chain with these giant horns. The skin texture is amazing. Check out his hand. The fingernails. And this is very big as you can see. Veins. There's this giant scar here. Even his elbow, just look at that, it looks like, <laughs> looks fantastic. Really love the skin texture, huge piece. You know, this is like Hulk size. Uh, if you're considering, you know, for those of you who collect like Marvel, this is like a Hulk big. So very big one fourth, you know, really it's the size of like a one third scale statue. And the detail is just top notch premium. You know, as good as Orgrim and Golden. I'm gonna need to display him over there now, see how he looks and see if he can top Golden for me or where he ranks among the four. But I gotta say, I'm really digging it, especially these dragon uh, skulls. I would say those are a highlight. His weapon, his overall body detail, the base, the flag, there's really a lot to this piece. So it's definitely extremely, extremely impressive. It's one you gotta see in person for sure. I uh, really admire all the detail. Sometimes in these promo pics you look at it, you're like yeah that looks cool but then when you get up closer you're like holy crap they really put a lot of time effort and you know just love into this piece with the amount of detail and the paint work it's just insane anyways let's go ahead and set this up Alrighty, folks so here is black hand in the setup 
So, I'm trying to do Goldan down low, although, to be honest, I still wish I could do all four of these up high somewhere. Makes me, cons uh, you know, thinking if maybe I should move Witcher over there and move Warcraft over here. You know, it's all one-fourth. I mean, it is from a video game. Technically, it's movie pieces, but I don't know. I, I'll, I'll need to think about it. I would love to get all four of these up high because they all honestly look better up high. They really do. They're all pieces that need to be 40 inches plus high off the ground. Like even just top Stuva shelf like this is the best. It's even a little lower than that, but I think this is actually the perfect height. Uh, I definitely wouldn't mind getting all these higher up though. So I may reconsider moving Warcraft somewhere else just so I can prioritize them, just because they are such good pieces. I'd also love to make a main room if it was possible, but I don't know how I would do that, and top shelf, which is very difficult. So I may just have to keep them here as this Warcraft corner, and, you know, at least these two aren't, like, completely on the ground. But, as you can see... Not the most ideal angle for them, but these two are definitely good angles. Really good angles. So you can see just how big Blackhand is, though. He is definitely very big. His body's as big as Duratan's. Base not as big. He is a little bit... I don't know. Uh, his armor adds a little bit more presence because of those dragon skull things they add more presence to him but yeah this thing's absolutely amazing for sure i'm very impressed with these warcraft pieces in general i'm definitely tempted to get the Mediv. i did like him uh but i really need to just stop at this i think this is the perfect four like if you're gonna get just four these are the four main orcs of the movie any other orc was only in like seconds worth. These are the four main orcs of the movie. You know, and they're all companion pieces in essence and they can all pair together. So they all work very, very good side by side in any which way you want to display them. So very, very cool. I'm glad I got Black Hand because he was the final orc I really was missing. So very, very cool. I guess the other main orc would be the girl, but she's on the good guy team. Uh, I do like that actress quite a bit, too. But yeah, check out Blackhound, though. He is definitely a beast. I'm going to have to give it some thought if I should move Warcraft or just keep it like this. It still does look good. I just have to get lower if I want to look at their face more often. But I can still see all their bodies very good, obviously. So, yeah, very, very cool piece. I'm very happy with it. I would say, yes, it is worth $2,000. It feels like a $2,000 piece all around. Just the sheer quality paint job and everything. You know, it's just as good as any of these. I'll need to give it some time and thought if it's uh, better than Golden. Because he is just such a special, unique piece. But I think straight off the bat, I think it is better than those two. If anything, it might just be tied with Golden. Because it really is that impressive. But I think it is better than those two. Just due to... Ah, that, I love that giant dragon skull thing. His weapon's cooler. And his armor, I just think, looks overall better. But yeah, absolute beast of peace. Uh, definitely very, very cool. Limited to 600. So 600 lucky SOBs out there in this world that own this awesome statue. Uh, I think there may still be one available on Sugo. I haven't checked. But if you're interested, check out Sugo Toys out of Australia. Do know Australia's in a lockdown right now, so shipping prices are through the roof. Uh, I actually canceled my Infinity Batman through them because they doubled the prices on me because of the lockdown. Luckily, I was able to sort it through side jokes, my waitlist converted. Uh, anyways, folks, let me know your thoughts and opinions below. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.